God led his people in hope, while the sea engulfed their force. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Let us enter into this Mass with hearts open to God's grace by first acknowledging our sins so that we can prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery, in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter and John were talking to the people, the priests came up to them, accompanied by the captain of the temple and the Sadducees. They were extremely annoyed at their teaching the people the doctrine of the resurrection from the dead by proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus. They arrested them, but, but as it was already late, they held them until the next day. But many of those who had listened to their message became believers, the total number of whom had now risen to something like 5,000. The next day, the rulers, elders, and scribes had a meeting in Jerusalem with Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, Jonathan, Alexander, and all the members of the high priestly families. They made the prisoners stand in the middle and began to interrogate them. By what power and by whose name have you men done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, addressed them. Rulers of the people and elders, if you are questioning us today about an act of kindness to a cripple and asking us how he was healed, then I'm glad to tell you all and would indeed be glad to tell the whole people of Israel that it was by the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, the one you crucified, whom God has raised from the dead, by this name and by no other, that this man is able to stand up perfectly healthily here in your presence today. This is the stone rejected by the builders, but which has proved to be the keystone. For all the names in the world given to men, this is the only one by which we can be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love has no end. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. 
This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Bless in, blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. We'd like to say the sequence together. Christians, to the paschal victim, offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the lamb, and Christ the undefiled. Hath no sinners to his father reconciled. Death with life contended. Combat strangely ended. Life's own champion, slayed, yet lives lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou dost see upon the way. The tomb of the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope has risen. He goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples. It was by the Sea of Tiberias, and it happened like this. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two more of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. They replied, well, come, we'll come with you. They went out and got into the boat, but caught nothing that night. It was light by now, and there stood Jesus on the shore. Though the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus, Jesus called out, Have you caught anything, friends? And when they answered no, he said, Throw the net out to starboard, and you'll find something. So they dropped the net, and there were so many fish that they could not haul it in. The, disciples, the disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. At these words, it is the Lord, Simon Peter, who had practically nothing on, wrapped his cloak round him and jumped into the water. The other disciples came on in the boat, towing the net and the fish. They were only about a hundred yards from land. As soon as they came ashore, they saw that there was some bread there and a charcoal fire with fish cooking on it. Jesus said, bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter went abroad and dragged the net to the shore, full of big fish, 153 of them. And in spite of there being so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples was bold enough to ask, who are you? They knew quite well it was the Lord. Jesus then stepped forward, took the bread and gave it to them. And the same with the fish. This was the third time that Jesus showed himself to the disciples after rising from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, there's this beautiful word on fire commentary and it, and it quoted uh, Saint Gregory the Great. He gave a homily on, on this particular um, gospel and he said that um, the sea represents the, the turmoil of life. So the first time Jesus came to appear to disciples in his, or one of the first times in, in his glory and his, his power as God, he came walking on the water and the waves were, you know, they were, they were scary as night and, and, and it was a terrifying scene and that's kind of like life. Jesus breaks into our life, into to this world. And now the shore, the shore is peaceful. The shore is, um, it's got no waves, it's no more, no more turmoil, no more chaos of the, the deep dark sea. That's, that's done. The, the shore is like the new reality, broken open by the resurrection, heaven, the glory of heaven. 
And so there's Jesus. And this time, he encounters them supernaturally as a risen Christ, but he doesn't come walking on the water. He meets them on the shore. It's a symbolic um, stance (laughs) where the disciples are there on the water and they've caught nothing. And then into their own symbolic stance of being on the water, of being in this life, that Jesus breaks through with supernatural and he says, put the, the, the net on the other side. And they get a miraculous catch. They come to shore and they, they come to Jesus' reality and they, and they meet him there. And they um, have this profound encounter, which continues on, which we'll probably read tomorrow, I guess, or soon. It's uh, where Jesus asked Peter three times, do you love him? Do you love him? And um, as we know, Peter denied Christ three times. It's this beautiful scene where heaven breaks into the reality, where the, the, the fruits of the resurrection start to break into um, the disciples' earthly reality, to our earthly reality. That's, that's one of the, the key messages of the resurrection, of, of Easter for us. It's where heaven starts to to break into our earth reality. And it happens through um, cooperation. See, the disciples, through the eyes of faith, they were able to recognize Jesus. But if they said they didn't recognize him, if they just said, no, sir, we're not going to put our, our nets onto the, the, the other side, no cooperation, they wouldn't have met Jesus on the shore. It's this invitation to start to open up to relationship with Jesus, let him forgive our sins, to start to do what he says, start to partner with him in this life, and slowly be able to lead to the shore, to peace, to the fruits of the resurrection, the fruits of heaven, even now starting to break into our reality. So that's the beautiful symbolism of how he came to his disciples, this very intentional way. It wasn't just a random, he felt hungry on breakfast. <laughs> It's a beautiful scene. So let's ask the Lord as we continue in our um, Easter octave that he'll break into our reality more as we open up to partnering and cooperating with him in our lives. Amen. Let us pray to God the Father who has given us new life through the resurrection of Christ. Make us radiant with Christ's glory. Make us radiant with Christ's glory. Almighty God, creator of the world, and revealed to the old so you revealed the old covenant by your mighty deeds and were faithful to men down through the ages. Loving Father sorry, loving Father, hear the prayer of your children. Make us radiant with Christ's glory. Cleanse our hearts by your truth and guide our lives by your holiness. May we do what is right and pleasing to you. Make us radiant with Christ's glory. Let the light of your face shine upon us, free us from sin and fill us with your goodness. Make us radiant with Christ's glory. Peace was your son's parting gift to the apostles. Grant your peace to us and to people everywhere. Make us radiant with Christ's glory. Let us now turn to Mary, our mother, to ask her to pray for us and to the unspoken prayers of our hearts. Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Blessed art thou among women, and blessed blessed is the the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us us now, now and at the day of our death. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit to the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed notably willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Christ just please. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection. He lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>